I grew up walking around the woods of this area, picking up box turtles, just spending a lot of time in the woods. My family's been here since the 1680s, um, living along the banks of these rivers in this area. My office backs to the state park um, in Anne Arundel County. And um, I used to go walking down there and I'd see the trash that's been piled up down there for, for decades. I mean, literally, you'd find Dr. Pepper bottles from the 30s and 40s down on the stream banks. And I got really tired of looking at it and I thought maybe I should clean it up. I'm a stream watcher because the natural environment has been of interest to me since I was a little sprout. And I got interested in this thanks to my next door neighbor, basically, who I bumped into once on a hike. He was working with a prison crew shortly after one of the dams on the lower Patapsco had been removed. He gave me Betsy McMillian's name and I signed up two years ago this fall and had never looked back. It started off being pretty much just adopting, um, having people adopt sections of either a stream or sections of the Patapsco River. We have cleaned up so, and remove so much trash, enough trash, imagine, the same weight of a blue whale. Okay, that's, that's how much trash we have removed in Patapsco Valley. And all of that is helping to maintain uh, the Patapsco and it feeds into the Chesapeake Bay, so it's all connected. And it's fun, it's uh, getting into the outdoors and also helping to do some good things and meet some nice people, so it's been very enjoyable. There's also uh, a lot of recreational opportunity in the river and, and that's what kind of keeps me going uh, for it, to, uh, to make use of that opportunity and make sure that opportunity is available for others. And I love starting new educational programs. So when I found out about the Streamwatch program, I just volunteered and I said I would love to do this. Then we decided that we really needed to start educating people to stop um, destroying the river. You know, they were doing it with either littering or they were dumping. Um, they were also putting chemicals down, storm drains, and things like that. My passion is teaching people, you know, um, about the Patapsco Valley to understand how, what a great treasure this is. It's, it's kind of like the hidden jewel of, um, I think, in Maryland. A lot of people don't know how beautiful it is. You can hike here, you can, uh, you can kayak, you can canoe. And it's a whole different world. As you start walking up the river away from all the roads and everything, it's just priceless. You just you disappear into this beautiful um, wilderness that is just has nature all around you, and it, it's great. And it's so close to you know civilization. You can just really escape for a while.